Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to spawn landscape or generate landscape as the player moves around. So we will have an infinitely big landscape. Uh, so no matter where the player goes, there will be landscape underneath. So you can see I haven't added any uh, fog or anything to hide the edge. So so uh, because I want to keep it visible how the landscape is generated around the player so and as you can see this looks pretty basic and also uh, we will have to do some performance optimization because you may notice that some fps drop as the uh, landscape is being generated but this is everything is uh, for the moment everything is still in blueprints so we will do optimizations later on uh, for now this is just more like in a proof of concept stage so we may have to switch to c plus plus and implement maybe a multi-threading based approach so here i have in this top view this blue area is generated landscape and i have selected the player now this is the player so if i just drop here you can see landscape is generated around that area see so yeah this is what we are going to work on today dynamically generating landscape infinitely as the player moves around the world and uh, before we get started as always i'd like to remind you that you can download all the project files of this project and all other projects that i have done in my channel so i'll leave the link in the description below feel free to check it out so once you become a member you can download any project that i have done in my channel to the date there are over 1600 videos so you can download the project files of any project without a limit and let's get back to the tutorial now so this is what we have for the moment as if the last episode of the of this series so for the moment all that happens is here i can give the number of tiles or sections in x direction and sections in y direction and the x vertex count y vertex count and the cell size so based on these parameters uh landscape is generated but even if player moves somewhere it's not generated again so that's the part we are going to work on now how to dynamically generate as the player moves around so before we get on with the dynamic terrain generation there is one thing that we need to fix in this player position index so we directly get this x vertex count and y vertex count but this should be x vertex count minus one and y vertex count minus one because we go from zero to uh, the vertex count minus one in the follow where we generate the landscape chunks so that's why we have to use the same thing otherwise as the player moves away from the origin there would be a significant offset from the location that we get and the actual location we need to have and also here we have a little issue small issue that is so if i set this to one by one and simulate it will it should spawn around this center point so now it spawns one and if i use two here you see three tiles are spawned so to fix this i have to for this point instead of adding this a, what we need to do is starting from the start point 
we need to go to the number of sections minus one times in the follow so this is going to fix that issue I just demonstrated so the same thing for the y end this minus one and this no here you see it's only two tiles earlier it was three tiles and if i use one it will still be one so three we have three tiles one two three so yeah it's correct now and unless we use uh, an even number this then tiles will not be balanced around the player point so if i use four this is perfectly balanced if i use three it is not balanced that's just how it works okay what's next i'll keep two by two so we have four tiles now that is out of the way so the, now let's focus on generating around the player so dynamically for this what we'll have to do is uh, periodically we will need to check and spawn tiles around the player but we need a way to determine if we already have generated a certain tile if we have we should not generate it if we don't have we should generate it because when we periodically check there is a chance that we will check uh, try to generate the same tile again and again so for that i'll add a variable uh, I'll call it generated tiles. So here I'll use int point structure because uh, this index x index y. So we get a 2D coordinate which I can use an end point structure to store and I'll convert it to a map okay so then here once we generate a, a tile let's add it to this generated tiles so where should we do that here we have this section index so here let me add a readout point and collapse so check tile and then this check tile so what we need to do is oh we need to queue this section index x and y as an input so now in this generated tiles we need to find if this uh, point that is represented by the given index x and y exist in this uh, map if yes that means we don't have to generate so if not that means we have to generate so if it is yes i will not simply add i'll simply not add a exit into this check tile so that we will not uh, execute after that okay so but if not we should and this uh, and also if we don't have since that now we are going to generate the tile 
I'll add it. So add the section index X. and section index y and uh, here we have section index which is the mesh section here we use this mesh section index so i'll use that also and store it because in future i may have to implement a system to uh, delete tile sections delete tiles of the landscape when the player is perhaps far away from them so in that case we would need which index of the mesh section is uh, corresponding to the to each tile okay now what we have to do is now we have the event here this spawn tiles around player let me copy the function name and here I'll set timer by function name function name is spawn tiles around the player it has to loop and I'll just time as 0.3 right i think that's all i have to do so now we need to test this we do need a player so here i'll select the import let's see so it working uh, it is working but the player has to go very close to the edge otherwise it doesn't trigger so we can easily test this clearly test this in this view I'll select the player and manually move so in this direction so you see since we are using the player location to generate tiles some in some tiles for some tiles even if the player is at the edge nothing is spawned here once we pass that edge you can see tile is spawned see so to avoid this perhaps instead of having two tiles we can have four tiles Let's go to the other view. See, now it generates. Cool. Okay. So in the flying view, it is pretty visible clearly visible but if we have like a player on the ground like a walking player we can pretty easily hide the area that is being spawned also we can add stuff like a fog perhaps or something to obscure the distance so that player will not see the spawning happens but still this is not good enough we need to improve this so if for example if we had a larger vertex count let's say something like this we would clearly see the time it takes to 
is four. Since now this is too big, it's if I move the player, oh sorry, if I move the landscape. Yeah, let me eject, select the player and move here. Now you see it takes a bit of a time to generate which is not good in the play for the gameplay so we will have to think about how to use uh, things like uh, multi-threading and perhaps generating the tiles in a background thread or something so that it does not interrupt the gameplay so anyway i'm gonna stop this episode for now so in future let's to look into those topics and also cleaning up the areas that we don't traverse anymore that we have passed okay so thanks for watching let's continue to improve the system and as always subject updated project files will be available for you to download in the patreon page link is in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye